the rules have changed. There's a fine line between right and wrong. And somewhere, in the shadows, they send us in to find it. 126 Actual, target is in the main house. You have execute authority. Bravo 6, going dark. Start clear! I cannot wait to see those old comrades. As you saw, the trailer dropped, and it has Captain Price front and center. Look a little young, though. Uh, that's one thing I, I noticed right off the bat. If you if you look at Captain Price at the end of by the end of the Modern Warfare storyline original one, and Modern Warfare three is like getting gray a little bit, you know, getting some wrinkles. This one, he's bright eyed and bushy tailed. Looks like he's maybe getting into his thirties. But one thing that's really cool is uh, the cover. You you look at all the the covers in the past, and uh, Price has never been on any of them, any of the Modern Warfare's. But then on this one, he's front and center, and I think there is some crazy foreshadowing going on. I talked about this before, and I said it might be a possibility or hinting to a possibility. But in Modern Warfare Two, there was a game box hidden on the map terminal outside the boundaries, and it says Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Not Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, just Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And on the cover is Captain Price. I just thought this was insane. It totally blew my mind. The first couple things I want to get into, I want to get into the reception. People are loving this trailer. Uh, this was just by the time I made the video. Um, I'm sure it's much higher now by the time you see the video. Um, 238,000. Hasn't even been 24 hours yet. And by 238,000, of course, I'm talking about the likes. With uh, two coming up on three million views at this time. And this should be really eye-opening for Activision because uh, Black Ops 4's uh, uh, launch trailer was uh, the gameplay launch trailer. It didn't have a campaign. Has, over the year, accumulated 15 million views, but only has 79,000 likes. In full comparison, not even that many people who viewed it even cared to rate it. I remember the hype meter being the lowest I've ever seen it uh, when Black Ops 4 was announced. And Modern Warfare has already blown this video out of the water when it comes to uh, likes. And it doesn't even have half the views. And don't worry, I will get into weapons like the AK-47, uh, the FAMAS, uh, the Uzi. I'm really going to get into those details, though, when I do my uh, trailer breakdown video, which is probably going to take some time. I'm going to be doing some research on uh, a lot of things. But I want to get down to the pre-order details. So I'm showing the pre-order details for the most expensive edition as of right now for a physical copy, not digital, physical. Because as we know, the Modern Warfare games, um, even Call of Duty as a whole, they used to give really cool items, physical items. Uh, whenever you got an expensive edition of the game. This edition does come with some, uh, it, it comes with, let's see, some control freaks, uh, which are just analog stick extenders, obviously Modern Warfare themed, and a uh, controller skin uh, that says Modern Warfare on it. And then it's just got a bunch of uh, digital content. And then if you look at the digital content, it looks like uh, the shotgun's like a Mossberg 590 looking thing, or uh, uh oh, the sniper rifle. Um, if you look at 
the bolt, it's got this spiral on it. And you look at the wide magazine, um, it's really giving off some intervention vibes, but a lot of it's covered up and modified, so I'm not sure. And then some type of 1911 uh, sidearm. But if you notice, the uh, emblem in the background for all ghillied up is actually in the uh, trailer. It's, uh, it's a deployment patch on the chest of uh, this person about to jump out of a, a UH-47 or a, a Chinook, which is pretty cool. So for right now, the only addition you can really buy or find is uh, the standard and then the precision edition, which I said, uh, you know, it came with control freaks. But Charlie Intel did some digging and found out there's a dark edition, but there's no details. Now, we saw before when um, Peggy, the rating system for the UK, pretty much leaked the rating that they gave for Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, showing that it was in production. So obviously I'm thinking the Dark Edition comes with Modern Warfare 2, but I'm sure something else is going to come with that edition as well. And it's funny because the Precision Edition comes with Control Freaks, which help you with your precision with aiming. So in the Dark Edition, what's supposed to help you with the dark? And it made me think back to the Prestige Edition of Modern Warfare 2, which again, hopefully Modern Warfare 2 Remastered comes with this edition of the game. And Modern Warfare 2 came with NVGs, it came with night vision goggles. And let me tell you, with all, all the stuff in social media right now regarding Modern Warfare, night vision goggles is like such a huge topic surrounding the game. I mean, I remember when people were leaking out information, they said there will be heavy emphasis on night vision. And if, you know, they're releasing Modern Warfare 2 Remastered and they want to release some type of physical thing with it, I feel like night vision goggles would be dope. These, of course, are um, the, an older version. In the new Modern Warfare, they have a more uh, up-to-date modern NVGs with uh, four lenses, four optic. I don't know. I definitely think it could happen. Another thing they've also been putting some emphasis on, which I'll, I'll go into in my next video more, is how this game will be controversial. It'll get really dark, really serious. And like right here, it looks like we have um, Syrian white helmet volunteers, which is a very real thing in real life. And they said the game will kind of revolve around real modern day conflict. And I can already see at the bottom portion of the picture, there's a dead child just laying on the street. So I do think the game is going to be more serious than we've probably ever seen. And there are going to be some tough scenes in there that they will probably give you the option to skip. But anyways, um, I went and wanted to con congratulate Joe Limsley right away. And I said, this trailer was amazing. Seriously, got some watery eyes from it. I meant to say, uh, it is amazing. Great job. Um, and he replied, dude. There is so much more. And by God, I cannot wait. So just keep in mind, this is just the beginning. Buckle up. This is going to be a crazy week. I'm going to go to bed, but I will see you guys in my next video. Later.